Good morning. So it's 8 o'clock. I just woke up and I'm about to go for a run before the rain starts again. I usually go for runs at about 6 o'clock on the weekdays, but it's a little bit late, later on the weekends. Okay, so I just finished my run. Um, when I run, if I'm by myself, I usually just do the hill. So we have like a little hill at our house. Would sprint up it and then kind of jog back down and I do that for 10 times because it's a bit like hit. So I guess it just gets your body moving. Um, and I do it first thing in the morning because it kind of boosts your metabolism for the rest of the day. So you kind of burn off calories more, if that makes sense. Um, but when I'm with Kyle, we usually take a run down to the beach. We live like two minutes away. So we usually do like a run down to the beach and then across the beach and then back up. Um, and now I'm gonna do some stretches and a little bit of abs. probably tell I'm not too flexible um, I was a bit better a few weeks ago but I haven't been stretching as much because I haven't had much time I try to go to the gym between my first job and my second job so in between that I kind of skipped out on the stretching part which is important so I'm gonna start stretching more again Also be wondering why there's towels on the outside of the bathroom door it's because the inside because it's so humid here that like we just feel like our towels get gross on the inside so we put them on the outside so they kind of air out properly so before I make breakfast every morning I have a whole bottle um, it just helps me drink more water and I get super dry lips so it just helps to you know start off the morning with lots of water so I'm gonna make an acai bowl I think that's how it's pronounced um, I use this milk because it's the only what is it almond milk like dairy-free milk that doesn't have vitamin D let me turn that off that doesn't have vitamin D in it because I produce too much and get kidney stones from it so that's why I drink lots of water I have about uh, I want to say between like three to six liters of water a day um, which is about eight of these um, sometimes I have more, sometimes less, you know what it is. whey protein that I got from the supermarket it's about $28 
which is pretty expensive for this little bag that only lasts like two weeks. So I've ordered some Woman's Best vegan protein because again, there's that one's like the only one they have that doesn't have added vitamin D. So yeah, I just use this vanilla. Gives it some flavor. I don't take supplements such as BCAAs because again, my kidneys. Um, protein's the only supplement that I take because it tastes nice and it helps me get my protein intake for the day in. Now here's my little packet. I usually get the other one from this little health shop by the fire station if you live in Bermuda. Um, but this was the only one they have. So let's hope it tastes the same. Not the healthiest, but it tastes better. Um, cereal, so I think it's a little bit healthier and less sugar than other granolas. I eat my acai bowl I'm gonna clean the house and then probably show you what I eat for the rest of the day so the apartment is now clean and I'm gonna light this candle so it smells nice too oh this is like the best candle Rose water and ivy. It's so strong and usually I find like the Bath and Body Works candles Hold on. Bath and Body candles like some of them aren't strong But this one you could literally light it and like 10 minutes later the whole place smells nice so. Now I need to get a shower and sort myself out for the rest of the day Hey, so so for lunch today, I have lamb skewers and broccoli that's ugh, about to go in the microwave. I actually made it last night for dinner. Um, I don't meal prep. I usually just make enough the night before from dinner so that it lasts me for lunch the next day. Try not to eat many grainy carbs. So the only carbs I really eat are from fruit or vegetables. Um, I know like a lot of fitness people say don't cut your carbs and stuff, but I don't know. This is just what works for me. So my last little snack before dinner, I usually have a little yogurt. Um, I like the vanilla, not the vanilla, the strawberry cheesecake ones, but they didn't have any. So got toasted coconut vanilla. It's 80 calories and the sugars are pretty good. So it's only seven grams of sugar. And I try to keep below five, but with yogurts, it's quite hard. And, well, hard to get a good one that's under five grams of sugar. So I think I'm going to mash this back. And then I'll be back to show you dinner.
Okay, so I just wanted to thank you guys for watching my What I Eat in a Day video. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you like it or if you don't like it. Thanks.